But they send you this package right here. It comes in this box. Let's put this off to the side. There was not one, there was not one single instruction manual in there. So if you are not mechanically inclined, this might be a struggle for you. So hopefully this video helps you out. I've managed to sort out all the screws. This is just some extra screws that came. I believe these screws are supposed to replace these four screws that attach the uh, mount onto the projector. So when we get to that part, I'll go ahead and use these screws. But I went ahead and sorted everything out. Right here, I have no idea what that's gonna be for, but I've already sorted everything out and kind of pre-put it together so you'll see what it looks like. Now, from what I can gather, uh, this right here, of course, you know, mounts to your ceiling. You got your four uh, holes right there. Then you got these uh, lag screws or whatever you want to call them. They uh, they should expand as you bolt them into your ceiling. They should expand. So let's go ahead and take this base and we'll attach it to this. Now, if you if you actually play around with this, it only really attaches one way to the point where it looks like it should work. So it doesn't attach this way. So I just flip it this way and you see two screws line up with two screws and it is symmetrical on both sides. So let's go ahead and put in our Allen screws. All of these Allen screws are actually the same, so it doesn't matter if you mix them up or not. I'll just go ahead and start attaching that. Okay, so now we have four of these Allen screws put in there and that's pretty solid in there. I didn't tighten them too tight because I want to have a little bit of play for when I install everything. So let's go around to the opposite side now. So here you have an Allen screw that basically tightens or loosens the extension arm here. I'm not going to mess with it right now because I need to just put this right here, this part right here. So this only attaches one way as well. As you can see, there's two screws right here. Now there's four slots right here, which kind of makes you believe that you could adjust this up or down, but it only really fits in here one way. And that is right on the inside of here just like that and then it's threaded on the inside so let's just go ahead and put some of these allen screws in there as well you're gonna need four of them two for the one side two for the other Now, as you can see, this allows it to swivel and you can tighten these Allen screws up as well. Uh, and then you have your extension arm right here, which you can tighten or loosen once you get everything set in place. And then it is mounted to the ceiling from this part right here. So now these pegs right here, they actually hook on. So if you look at what I'm doing here, they hook in just like that and that allows the projector to swivel either side to side or forward and back depending on how you mount this thing. Then you got a couple of Allen screws right there to screw in to tighten that up so it won't be swiveling all over the place. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get this bracket mounted to the projector itself. That way it'll be easier to attach once we get it all set up. Okay, so we have the projector here and all the feet are off so these screws are exposed and then we can get this going. All right, so as you can see, the arms don't stretch out exactly to where they need to be. That's what these butterflies are for. And we will just open these up once we get to them and then we'll stretch it out. So let me take these new screws right here that it came with. Oh, just open that up. And the fact that they have this washer on here should actually keep everything secure. That way you don't have to use the washers, the additional washers that they sent, because that can be kind of tedious putting all that together. Okay, so I've opened these all the way up. That way now I can kind of just shift this thing into the center of the projector. That'll keep us from having problems in the future when it comes time to mount it. All right, looks like everything's squared up. Now let me tighten these. So let me just take the extension arm. Remember, these pegs go in just like this. Let me scoot this to the middle. They go in just like that. And then you can see that screw hole right there. We'll put this in. We'll get it tightened up. So now once you get it mounted to the ceiling, as you can clearly see, you have a left and right kind of yaw motion here. And then you have a forward and back as well. And you have a lot of travel going forward and back. That way, if you're mounting it kind of at an angle, you can get that pitch just right. Now I'll turn it to the side. That way you can see how it works as well. So it has a forward and back kind of yaw and then it also has a left and right yaw as well and once again if you need to drop it down or raise it a little bit more you have this extension arm right here once you get it to where you need it to be go ahead and put a screw in right there and you can also put one in here and that kind of just locks things in place and you have plenty of extension i mean it's it's probably a good two feet of extension so there you go once again, these screws are for mounting this bracket to your ceiling, but if you want to, you can just buy some uh, drywall anchors. They should probably work a little bit better. I've actually never used these types before, uh, so I'll probably be getting myself some drywall anchors from Home Depot. I hope this video helps you guys out, and I'll see you at the next one.